everybody, it's Laura Ray. I'm so excited for our beauty live stream tonight because we're gonna talk all about beauty tools. I brought some brand new things to show you tonight that I've never shown on my channel before. I've been trying out so many beauty tools lately. Let's start with one that I really needed. In my bathroom, I don't have a lot of counter space. Uh, if you're like me, put it in the comments where you just run out of space to put your things when you're getting ready. So I bought this mat. It is so cool. It goes right over the sink. You just lay it like this and it gives you a whole new counter space. I think this is amazing. I've had this problem for so long where I can't fit everything on the counter when I'm getting ready. And uh, I'm so happy I found this. Hi to Yarn Chick 60, welcome. I'm so excited you're here. And I'm just sharing this amazing beauty mat. So if you're looking for some more counter space, the nice thing is it's made of like a rubber. It's easy to clean off and look at how convenient it folds up. Now, another thing I thought this would be great if you were traveling even. Sometimes you go somewhere or you're staying with someone at their home and they might have one of these bathrooms where it's like a half bath and you just have the sink and you don't have any counter space at all. So I am so excited about this. This was a great purchase for me. And I'm so excited, El Hunt is here, and all the way from Maryland, and we have Susan Scott from Atlanta. Welcome, Susan. And um, you're right, Yarn Chick. She just said that would be great for a camper. I love camping, and you're so right. In camping, we run out of space for things. Also, if you have a small apartment. I know uh, when I lived in a condo at one point, I had almost virtually no counter space. And so I think this mat would be fantastic. Now, welcome to Carol, all the way from South Carolina, one of my favorite states, Carol. I love South Carolina. And uh, it's nice to see you too. I see beauty and beyond. Hello there, we're so happy you're here. And Janice from Texas, welcome Janice. Rebecca is here from Maryland. I'm so happy to see all of you and we're talking about beauty tools. So I shared my brand new mat that I got to give me more space on the counter. Now another problem is sometimes when we're trying to uh, give ourselves a pedicure, more and more of us are doing that at home and not going to a salon or a spa. It's hard to reach your feet correctly and without maybe hurting your back or it's just hard to reach our feet and even just to trim nails. So I got this really cool pedicure stand. And what you do with this, you set it up, there's different heights to it and you put your foot here and then here's where your nail polish can sit and that way when you're doing your pedicure like I could sit on my couch put this on the floor and do my uh, toes or even in the bathroom it just works amazing and I think this would be great I hear a lot of people complain, oh, I can't reach my feet good, or it's so uncomfortable, it's hard to cut my nails at the right angle, or hard to file your nails. So this is gonna get a lot of use. I do love to do my toes, I love to paint my nails, and I'm really enjoying this pedicure stand. So welcome, hello, yes, it's Bella here. And Bella, you are all the way on the other side of the pond. Bella has a channel, and I'm so happy you're here, Bella. And Teresa, glad to see you. And Fran, from one of my favorite states to Maryland. I've been many times to Maryland. I had family in Maryland, so I love that part of the country. Now, I wanna talk, I see, 
Uh, well, not Trish is not here yet. I'll, I have some questions that I wanted to answer and I'll answer those in a little bit, but let's talk more about tools. And I wanna talk about sponges. The first video I ever did on YouTube, I've taken it off because the product isn't made anymore, but it was from uh, Dr. Sponge and it was a sponge just like this. Beautiful for exfoliating. Now back then, one sponge ran between like eight and $10. Now you can get a whole box full for about that price. This, these are really neat because they come in charcoal, uh, charcoal, turmeric, green tea, French red clay, which is the one I have here, and per, uh, pure cognac. Now, I love these sponges. Like I said, that was seven and a half years ago I started using these. They start off like a rock, but the minute you put them under the water, they soften up and they're a great way to gently exfoliate. I don't know if any of you remember the Buff Puff. Do you remember that? My uh, dermatologist recommended that and that was to help exfoliate my skin when I had acne. But boy, were those rough. I wish I had had these then. They're great. They have a little string and you can hang them like on your sink to dry. They don't get bacteria and stuff built up in them. And one sponge will last you probably three or four months and you get a whole big pack for I think around the $10 price mark. But these are fantastic. A great way to exfoliate. You can even put one in the shower if you want to wash, get off, uh, you know, some of your makeup before you do all your cleansing. You don't even really have to have soap for them. I use soap with them, but they say you can just use it on its own. It, it will take everything off. So hello from Puerto Rico. Uh, we're so happy you are here and Lisa, she won our giveaway last week and Lisa, I'll be getting your prize out to you. I did get your email, so I'm so excited for you. Now, the next tool I wanna to talk about are really inexpensive sponges that are amazing. And it's from uh, this AOA studio and they're called Paw Paw Wonder Blender. To me, these are better than the Beauty Blender even. I have one here and it's not even full of water. It gets huge when it's fully full. These are so soft. And it says on it, super soft. That's the truth. These are really amazing. And I can't remember, I'm looking on the packaging. I don't remember how many are in here, but it's quite a few. I gave some to my daughter. I have everything linked in the description of the video. Every product that I'm talking about that I'll share with you tonight is linked just like it is in any other video. And it's in my Amazon store. I do receive a small commission for that. And I really appreciate it because it helps support the live streams and all these products that I'm purchasing and sharing with you tonight. So thank you so much. Hello to Tricia from Indiana. And Tricia, I, while you're here, I wanna address your question. Tricia put a question into uh, the community post today and she said she's looking for a foundation brush that will not leave streaks on the skin. And really the best that I've had is the BK Beauty sponge uh, or the brush. It's the 106 and this is made for foundation. If any of you own the brush, I would love for you to comment and let Tricia know about it. But what I love, it's dense enough it doesn't leave streaks super, super soft. I love these brushes. Now, full disclosure, they were sent to me, but after they were sent to me from Lisa from BK Beauty, I was so impressed. I bought quite a few things from her. I bought the eyeshadow palette she makes. I wanted to try that. I've loved that. I bought lipstick, lip liner. Both of them were amazing quality. Everything I bought so far, I've been thrilled with. But these are wonderful brushes. I like, I don't typically use a brush, Tricia, for foundation, 
Most of the time I use, either use my fingers or a sponge. But there are some foundations I find really do work best with a brush. So for those that I have that are like that, I love her brush from BK Beauty, Lisa. This is amazing. So that would be the one that I would recommend that I would buy for my family and friends. I really want to get some of these brushes for my mom for a gift. Maybe for Valentine's Day, I'll do that because I think she would love the brushes. Now, another inexpensive sponge that I put in the store for you to look at is a whole set that comes from that same company, AOA Studios. Again, it's like a whole set of, I think, seven sponges. Two of them are small for doing around the eyes for around a $10 price point. So you can't beat that. You're paying a little over a dollar a sponge. And look at this. Now this one comes in the set and it's got like silicone here, which is great for dipping into powder and rolling under the eye. I roll around the nose. I'll show you what I do. I take something like my can make powder, go into it, get it on the sponge, and then just roll like this. A beautiful way to apply your powder. And then you've got your sponge on this side where you can just pounce it out and blend it. But I really love these sponges. My daughter loved them so much. I gave most of them to her. That's why I don't have the packaging for them anymore. But these are about the best I've ever found on the market. I really love them. So either the Paw Paw or the set, if you want to try different ones, they had different uh, coatings on them, different shapes. So I really like that box because it gives you a variety of sponges to try. Wow, from London, hello. And uh, hello from, to we've got someone here from Georgia. That's Melinda. Welcome, Melinda. In Colorado, Leslie. Vancouver, Washington. Hi, Julie. And Mississippi, Sharon and Tamara. We're glad you're here all the way from Oregon. Wow, you ladies are amazing. And uh, it looks like Leela... I need a little magnifier. It says uh, she likes the It Cosmetics double-ended foundation brush. I have some of the It Cosmetics brushes and I love them too. They've been really good. I have the one, the eyeshadow brush, where you push it and get a bunch of different sizes. You can make it dense or make it fluffier. I know Mary Ellen After 60 has that brush and I heard her rave about it so much that I bought it. And I really like that too. And hello to Helen. Boy, cold and snowy in Michigan. I'm always checking on you guys, Helen, because I love Mackinac Island and I see that the temps have been really low and you guys have been getting snow there. So I love keeping up with my friends in Michigan. Hello, Jacqueline, we're glad you're here. And right now I'm talking about sponges. So I've shared some that are sort of like the beauty blender. Now I'm gonna share something that's really different. I bought this package of sponges recently. Look at this, they're sea sponges. And you can do so many things with these. They're great. I actually applied my makeup tonight with this very sea sponge. I dampened it like you do the beauty blender. I squeezed out all the water that I could and just blended out my makeup. I also washed my face with it this week. I really like these. I never really thought about it and somehow I read an article about sea sponges and sort of got it on the sea sponge train, but there's so many things you can do with these. I really like them so much, something different. I thought this would be good for travel. We're always trying to be a minimalist when we travel, right? And we don't want to bring a lot of stuff. So you could take one sponge, use it for your makeup, then at night wash your face with it. They're so budget friendly, so affordable. It's very inexpensive for all of these and they last a really long time. This bag here would last me a lifetime. So I'll probably give a few of these out, like give them to my mom, my sister, my daughters, 
So um, these are fabulous. So something you might have not ever thought before of before is using a sea sponge. Now another tool I didn't know I would love so much are these long extended eyeshadow sponges. These are amazing. I use them every day now. I use them for putting on my eye makeup. I love putting them on the mobile lid, using them to apply makeup. They it works, seems to work really great with these shimmers too. I get a better look than I do with a brush. I love using these for concealer. I can get with my deep set eyes, it is very difficult for me to get in this area here and even on the outside. So I will take my concealer and pat it in to this area like this, blend it out, then put it in the corners. You can get that real lifted look because you can just sort of follow along the eye like this with the sponge. I also like it for applying lipstick. You ladies convinced me last week. I had this in my collection. It's Fire and Ice from Revlon. It's what I'm wearing tonight. I'm in love with this shade now. I never thought I would go so crazy about reds, but I am into the reds now. So I will even take the sponge like this and put on lipstick. It's a great way to get more control when you are using a difficult shade to work with. Red is more challenging, just like red nail polish. So I like using this for that. So I did put this shade in the Amazon store. If you click any of the links, it will take you there in case you wanted it. And then what I bought to go with it is the uh, Revlon Color Stay. This pencil works for reds and corals. I love this liner. It's so affordable and I've been wearing it every day to work and it stays on the lips all day. So really great. Uh, Dana, I'm so happy you're here and caught alive also. And Fran says, I wish Real Technique still had those small brushes that you mentioned a while back. I've searched everywhere with no luck. I know what you're talking about. I love those too, and I've been searching for you too. So if I can get a hold of those, I will definitely mention them, Fran. They were great for applying eyeshadow. For a while, I did find them at Five Below, but I haven't been able, I went in recently to the one that I shop at and they didn't have them there anymore. So if I can find them, I will definitely let you ladies know because they're amazing. Now one thing, a tool, this came in a set of three and I really like it because one tool I found I get a lot of use out of is this. This is for combing through your lashes to make them not be clumpy. And so most mascaras tend to clump my lashes together. And so I use this a lot. This came with this brush, which is great because you can use it for uh, going along the lash line or even doing your brows. And then you have the spoolie. And then this is another comb where you can use it for the lashes or brows and then use the brush. But this whole tool set came together for about $8. So I thought that was a great find and I had some tools like that but they were getting older so I went ahead and bought them. Now before I get into all the hair stuff that I brought with me, I wanna show you this jewelry cleaner. I had heard Shay Whitney talk about it in one of her videos. She's a younger YouTuber and she does some amazing Amazon videos. And she was talking about this cleaner. And my jewelry, I really love to look brilliant, but it, in all honesty, it usually doesn't. You know, I'm washing dishes, I'm washing my hands so much. And I found that soap was collecting under the stones of my wedding ring and the little heart ring that I always wear. So when she talked about it, I said, that is what I need. I need to be able to clean the jewelry and get in the little crevices. It has a little brush inside of it. So you don't need to have a toothbrush or anything. It comes with a brush and you only leave the jewelry in for about three minutes or so. So this morning, 
I cleaned my wedding ring and it looks better than it's looked in a very long time. And I cleaned this ring that I have here. So I'm really happy it was around $8 for that cleaner. I've had those cleaners before and they last a very long time. So something you might want to think about our jewelry is something, you know, that a lot of people look at. People look at our hands and when our rings that we wear get dull, they're not at their full luster, you know, it helps to have a cleaner to clean them. So just something I thought you might enjoy. And thank you, Janice. I am in love with red lips now. And I am looking for the most beautiful shades to share with all of you. Hello to uh, Samantha from Argentina. Wow, this is amazing. I'm so happy all of you are here tonight. We're talking about beauty tools. And I have some hair tools that I want to share with you. When I looked at all the tools that I had, I found I had the most hair tools. I'd love to hear in the comments, what are the most you have tools from? Is it hair tools? Is it for applying makeup? What is the most that you have in your collection? For me, it's hair. I'm always looking for that magic tool that's going to make my hair um, look the best that it can. One tool that I came across, it's been about a year and a half, I'm going to make a lot of noise here, is this tool from Hot Tools. When these brushes first came out, I asked my hairstylist, Amber, I said, you know, I'm seeing these come out. Are they worth it? Do they work good? And she says, oh, I've had a lot of customers come in that have bought that and love it and their hair's looking great. So I wanted something I could use that would be easier than using a hair dryer in one hand, a round brush in another. It gets to be a lot. And I thought if I could just have one thing I could hold, it would be a lot easier to dry my hair. And so I bought this one from Hot Tools. Now, since there have been a lot of dupes that are less expensive than Hot Tools, but I can't share with you how those work. I don't know if they last. I have so many purchase, made so many purchases from this brand, Hot Tools, and everything's worked out great. I've bought curling irons. I bought hair dryers. This one I've had at least a year and a half, and I have had great success with it. So I feel really good about it. Um, I can do my hair in a short time. It has uh, cool low and a high setting, I never use the high because I have very baby fine hair, so the high is probably gonna cause breakage. So I use the low setting, and then when I'm all done, I go through my hair with the cool, and it sort of just seals everything off, and it seems to give it some shine. So I've really been happy with this one. It is easy to use much easier than a blow dryer and a round brush. And I see that Rebecca says she has the most tools for applying makeup. Bella says um, she's going to bed now. She's in the UK. So good night to Bella. Thank you for coming by, Bella. And it says, uh, Layla, Layla says, I've got lots of tools, but prefer using my hands most of the time. And I do too. Many times when it comes to um, applying foundation, I will do that too. And uh, Tricia uh, says that tools I have the most of for makeup. And uh, Teresa says she has the hair dryer too and loves it. So that's been a great find for me. Now, when I do my hair curly, and I probably get the most questions about that, I use, oh, and I forgot my wand. I put my wand that I use in the Amazon store. The wand that I use when I do my hair curly is from Conair. I've owned it a very long time, and it comes to a point on the end. So the exact one that I use, I put in my Amazon store. I just take, after my hair's fully dry, uh, about an inch of hair and wrap it around. And I have shown that, as a matter of fact, I linked uh, in the description my video because I got a question from LVKD 
today in the community post, she said, I'd love to see a video how you do your hair. Well, a couple of years ago, I did that video from the shower all the way through, and I really haven't changed anything except maybe the products. I use one product for scrunching and curling my hair, and that's the Curl Mix product that I've been talking about, the flaxseed gel. So that's what I put in my hair, and then I use the little iron to make the spiral curls. And I really don't brush it out. I'll just run my hands through it, shake it a little bit, or pull on the curls a little, and that's it. I try not to touch them because that will mess them up. Tamara says, tools for hair. Ironic because my hair is very wavy and curly, and I almost never use heat. And I'm gonna talk about that, Tamara, because I have some little goodies for that too. But this is the hair dryer that I bought. It is not a Dyson. This runs around $45 or so. This um, has served me well. It's been a year and a half that I've owned it. Now, what I love is I love to use the cool setting towards the end. It has right here, sunny they make it easy on us they have sunny and then a little snowflake for cool that easy i don't like those power buttons where you have to hold the button to get a cool shot to your hair so this you can adjust and i just put this on and diffuse my hair so i take my wet hair take this i let it dry for a little while so it's not sopping wet and then i diffuse it then usually the next morning, I will run the little wand over it, unless I was going somewhere. The wand just gives my hair a smoother look and clumps it a little bit better. My hair is sort of seaweedy if I let it just dry, air dry on its own without any heat. So Rebecca says, congratulations on the arrival of your ninth grandbaby. Wow, who had a ninth grandbaby? That is amazing. Let's see, Sharon says, congratulations. We had our fifth great grandbaby six months ago. Well, congratulations, Brandy, I see it's you. Wow, that's amazing. I'm so happy for you, grandbabies. I don't have one yet, but I look forward to the day. I hope I have one. But I guess I sort of do. I have a lot of them at school. So those are sort of like my grandkids. So that's wonderful. Congratulations, Brandy. You look way too young to be a grandma. All of you ladies do. And I see Elhan says, Great red lip, NYX butter gloss in red velvet. Oh, I'd love your red suggestions if you put them in the comments. That's great. Now, we were just talking about air drying your hair. When I air dry my hair, I use this tool. These are so cool. They're from a company called Kitsch. I love this company. They make beautiful hair accessories. And this is made of like, it's microfiber. So what I do is I put my hair gel in, bend my hair over, just sort of make it into one big ball on top of my head like a bun and twist it. And then this absorbs the water. So this helps to dry the hair. I love these. They come in a pack of two. So this has been really great for that pre-drying uh, time when I'm waiting. I might put my hair up, go do some things around the house. I come back, it's almost dry, and then get the diffuser out. So this is a wonderful hair tool. I love these. Now we're talking about hair. Let's talk about uh, the shower and some tools that I use in the shower. For one, I love this. My friend got me this. You just hang this in the shower. This is great for combing through your hair in the shower. I have used it also when I'm not in the shower to comb my hair because it is just very gentle. I really like this. This is also from Conair, a great, great gift. I was so thankful she got me that. Then look at this. This has to be the cutest ever, a flip-flop. Now this company makes different ones of these. So you have to be careful. I put the one that I got 
This is meant for massaging your scalp in the shower and just massaging it if you want. These are pretty strong and they're very dense, but it also can be used to brush your hair. Now, what I found is when I used this in the shower, it actually worked better for distributing the conditioner than say this. I still love this. This is a great beauty tool and I love how you can hang this, but isn't this the cutest, especially for a Floridian? And all you do is you put your fingers through like this and then you use it and you can massage the scalp too. I've been trying out a product for growing hair. It's an oil product. It's not expensive. It's a product you can pick up on Amazon that's inexpensive and I'll let you know how that goes. But I also wanted to try massaging my scalp more. So I got this because I can massage in the shower, comb through the hair all in one. So I thought that was really cute. Tamara says, Dyson Cool Setting. My husband was a deer and spoiled me. Wow, that's great. I love it. My hairstylist has a Dyson that she uses when I go to the salon on me, and I do love it. And she does get my hair dry really quick. So usually when I go to the salon, I just have her blow it out straight, and she makes it so smooth that it looks like she used a flat iron, but she doesn't. So it really is great. And yes, uh, Jacqueline says, I love that comb too. She has it and hangs it in the shower. I think it's great and so affordable. Good for taking on a trip. You can just hang it in there. Now, another one that I bought and tried out is this brush from Crave. Both of these, the this one got rave reviews on Amazon. So I wanted to see how it would work. It's sort of a wet brush, but you can use it dry. One of the times that your hair is most vulnerable is when it's wet. So you have to be really careful. My hairstylist and I have talked about this, brushing out the hair when it is wet. So you always want to start at the bottom and sort of work your way up and not start here pulling you end up with a lot of breakage. So I like this one. This is, again, from Crave. It's got very much like the flip-flop that I just showed you. They're about just as tight. Now this is just a whole different handle. So I would think whatever you would prefer as far as holding it, but this has a nice place to get a grip and to do your brushing but this can be used on wet or dry hair. So I, when I put conditioner on in the shower and I deep condition about once a week, I let it sit and then I start brushing through it and really work the conditioner in. And that makes such a difference. You know, I used to, when I was younger, just pile it on and then let it sit and rinse. And then there's all this hair that doesn't get coated. So what I noticed because I'm thinking when I go to the salon, my hair seems so much better with the conditioner than when I do it at home. But my stylist, she's combing through the whole time. She's just not piling it on and letting it sit. And I thought maybe I'm not combing it through enough, not really working the product through so it can do its work. So now I'm really careful about that uh, when I'm applying a deep conditioner. Now, some other goodies. I had a question from Sue, and I don't know that Sue's here right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and answer it in case she watches in the replay. She said her skin is so dry right now. What could I recommend at this winter time for somebody with like combination skin who's really suffering with dry skin because of the cold weather? And most of you are from places where it's really cold right now. So, for a little higher priced option, but still within a better range, I would say the Paula's Choice I always talk about, that's what I turned to when I was suffering with really dry skin for a while. This has a nice consistency to it. I'm gonna put some on my hand. This is the one that they said was in like a 70 some per mat, uh, match to Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. 
See the texture of it? That's really nice. Blends beautifully into the skin and keeps my skin really hydrated. And that's what I used when I went uh, to Michigan, to Mackinac Island, because I needed something that was heavier. I found that cold weather is a game changer. I mean, let's face it, in Florida, we live 24 hours a day in a humidifier. That's what Florida is, what a lot of humidity. But those of you that live in these cold climates, I can understand why you struggle with the wet skin or dry skin rather. Now she asked me about recommending a drugstore version or something great from the drugstore. I love the Aveeno Common Restore. Now this is a gel, but boy does it keep my face moisturized. I love it. Here's the texture so you can see. And this would be my replacement for Clinique Moisture Surge. I like this better. I've used both. This sinks in, really keeps my skin moisturized. I use it all the time. It works great under makeup. Both of those work great under makeup. Now, another suggestion I would make to Sue is double moisturize. What I have found when it's really dry and really cold, I need to put two layers of moisturizer. Now, the way I get away with it and can still wear makeup is I use something like this. This is the Sukoyaka Suhada. This is their uh, Urea Moisture Lotion. It's the texture of water. So it sinks right into your skin, yet retains so much moisture. So you're getting all this moisturization without the thickness of a product. So what I do is do this first, then go in with a moisturizer. Now, another affordable one I would recommend to Sue is this one from Gold Bond that I've raved about. This can be used on your face and body. So I would go in with that urea lotion first, get that level of moisture going, and then seal it with a heavier moisturizer. This one is beautiful. Look at the texture of that. That's not going anywhere. That's a good amount of creaminess to it, yet this goes right into the skin. My skin's just drinking it in right now. We had 30 some degrees this morning. I think it was 34. Would you believe that? So we had some cold weather too. And I see that Layla said uh, the Denman is great. A great brush. You are right. I have that too. I didn't bring it with me, but I do have a Denman and that is also. And um, I see Brandy's got a recommendation there too. The Barrage Therapy is a good choice too. So I hope everybody will read the comments because there's so many great things here being said. Now, one last brush that I want to share with you. I actually heard about this from Melissa 55. She talked about this several years ago, maybe four or five even, and it's from a company called Olivia Garden. Now the cool thing is they have different sizes. They have one about this size. This is the fuller size that I got, but this is for wet or dry hair. I've even used it before I got the hot tools dryer, when I had a regular hair dryer, I would use this paddle brush to dry my hair. But it goes through the hair so easily, smoothly. I have never regretted purchasing this. I love this brush. So this is wonderful. If you're looking for a brush for not catching your hair, and this is a really good one from Olivia Garden. That's the name of the company. And again, the links for everything are beneath the description of the video. I also have a link for a video on how I do my hair when it's wavy, because some of you have asked about that. And Jacqueline says, have you used Vanna Cream? What are your thoughts about it? I used Vanna Cream for a long time. My daughter still uses it. I love it. I think it's great, but I found some things for me that I like better. I like as far as the face wash, I love my La Roche-Posay. It's really not that much more money because the bottle that comes in is really tall. I like that a little bit better than the Vanna Cream Cleanser. 
And then I like this gold bond that I just showed you. This tube is only around $5. You can get a giant tube of it for around $8 on Amazon. I did a video about five miracle products and I included that in this. This is a new product for them. It's got, it's free of, it's free of parabens, dyes, and fragrances. So this works on my very sensitive skin. It's 24 hours hydration. I can use this like the Vanna cream on my face and body. It's got hyaluronic acid and grapeseed oil. I love grapeseed oil. That agrees with my skin. So I'm always looking for things that are going to agree with my skin. So this has been fantastic. Um, so one other thing to do with hair, and then we'll move on. Well, actually two things. If you're putting your hair up, I used to use the old fashioned sort of ponytails. I love putting my hair back because it's quick out the door to work. And some days I just don't have time to mess with my hair. But when I started using silk scrunchies, it was a game changer. I am, got my daughter onto these because sometimes I'll style her hair if she's going to an event She's pretty involved in our community and she goes to a lot of events where she has to be fixed up. And so I said to her, do you realize you have a whole line of breakage right about here? And that is where you're wearing your ponytail all the time. So I gave her some of my silk scrunchies and what a game changer. That's been great for me because putting your hair in those ponytails can cause severe breakage. So I only use silk pill, uh, ponytails like this. I use them at night. When I go to bed, I'll do my hair on top of my head and it'll give me a lot of volume in the morning. So I wouldn't want to be without this beauty tool. This is one of my absolute best. It's a quick out the door style. Do any of you use these? And I see Elhan says, I'm curious about those round uh, scalp brushes with the rubbery spikes. Has anyone tried those? I wonder if they would tangle the hair. So if anyone wants to comment uh, to her about that, um, I have, if you, are you talking, I think you're talking about these, the little brushes that I showed. And um, so if anyone wants to comment, if they've use these. And I see Helen says squalene is also good to put in before your moisturizer. A great tip. Thank you, Helen, for saying that. You're so right. And uh, Bunny Cause, welcome. We're glad you're here. We love when you join anytime. We've been talking about beauty tools tonight, so the replay will be up right after we're done. Then I go into YouTube and get the video going and it will be in the replay so you can see the uh, beauty tools that I showed at the beginning of the video. One last thing for hair. I told you I had a lot of hair stuff. Are these, I use these when I'm washing my face. I want to keep all my hair back, my bangs back. And so this set I found are really soft. And some of these don't always fit my head right or they're sliding down. These have been great and they're very inexpensive. They make a great gift. I love giving things like this to my friends.